your flesh is decaying, it's deteriorating. And it cannot live beyond a few years on this earth. Amen. You ain't going to live here forever like you are. Do, do I have witness in here? Right. So Jesus said, you must be going. But now, now what else? The flesh is, 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 and he came to the earth and he became flesh to correct and counteract the corruption of the flesh. That's why in 1st 2nd Peter 1, 4 says, by Christ we have given us exceeding great and precious promises, but by these we might be partakers of his, of his nature and then escaping from being corruption. Amen. How many want to escape corruption? And so the text goes on to tell us that, 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 that the flesh is corrupt, but he tells us something very profound. Go back to John 4, uh, chapter 3. He said the new birth is a necessity. necessity. And he said it's a spiritual birth. It's a spiritual birth. It's not intellectual. It's spiritual. It doesn't make any sense. So he gives, he gives, a, he gives an analogy. He said, you know what? When you go outside, you can feel the wind blowing. But you don't know where it's coming from. Come on, somebody. Has anybody ever had you drop some paper out of your hand and the wind blew it away? Yeah. All you knew that there was an easterly, north, northeasterly wind blowing, but you don't know where the, the wind started blowing from. He said, it's the same way when I save somebody. You can look at a wino one day. He's been drinking wine all his life. And then two years later, you see him. He's a deacon in his church. Now, you don't know really how it happened. Right. 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 You wasn't there when it happened. All you see is the results of what God has done. Do I have anybody in here today that you used to be a hot mess? But when God got his hand on you, nobody can tell how it happened. You didn't go into surgery. No doctor worked on you. It was the Holy Ghost working on the inside of you, producing and manifesting something greater on the outside of you. And nobody can tell because when God does it, it's done. He'll wait till you go to sleep at night. And while you're resting, he'll come over you and hover over you. That's why the Bible said that the earth was formed and was void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God hovered. I dare somebody to give somebody a high five and say, listen, your troubles ain't that bad. If you let God overshadow your troubles, he'll develop you into what 